Welcome to Maryland Medicine Frontline News, highlighting faculty, staff, and students who are fighting COVID-19 on the front lines of research and clinical care. Coming up, how robots are being used to treat the sickest COVID patients while protecting healthcare workers from infection. But first, a new visual test will allow doctors to detect COVID-19 as early as the first day of infection. The highly accurate RNA-based test employs advanced technology, but it's simple to use. We came up with a, a very um, a simple um, yet highly specific RNA-based detection and where we're using uh, plasmonic nanoparticles and relying on the fact that these nanoparticles can change their color once they bind to the virus. So it takes about 10 minutes um, for the nanoparticle to interact with um, the RNA uh, from the virus and then change the color from purple uh, to blue. And that kind of gives us uh, a simple visual uh, information uh, whether a virus is present or not. RNA is collected from a nasal swab or saliva, so the test can be easily done in a doctor's office or in the community. This test can be deployed in, uh, um, in schools or in the churches, in the community places, where um, you are not going to require uh, advanced in instrumentation or advanced tools, um, and also not going to require um, uh, heavily skilled personnel to run this test. We need to run more clinical samples, more clinical tests to, uh, to validate our results. Uh, but once we do that, I do, I do believe that this is going to be a game changer. The availability of testing is one reason why the state of Maryland is now lifting more COVID-19 restrictions. We have seen innovations among our faculty. They have come together with creative ideas. And one in particular that's uh, very much on point these days is the, the work from Dr. Claire Frazier and her team at the Institute of Genome Sciences and Dr. Sandy Stass and his team from the Department of Pathology. They have come together and created a, a, an initiative using high throughput robotic technology to be able to do uh, COVID virus testing in a fairly rapid and a high volume manner. Thankfully, we are uh, very far along on an ambitious and far reaching partnership that I announced in April with the uh, University of Maryland, Baltimore School of Medicine, uh, their Institute for Genome Sciences, to convert a powerful research lab into a full-scale clinical testing lab. From his home 22 miles away, Dr. Neil Reynolds is treating patients with severe COVID-19 at the R. Adams Cowley Shock Trauma Center. We call it semi-autonomous. What it means is I, manipulate it and I, I drive it right, left, up, down. I go into the patient's rooms and I do not require anybody else to help unless there's something in the way. Let me take a peek at the ventilator way over here. Tell you what, I'm gonna cruise around to the other side of the bed. Dr. Reynolds can conduct a complete exam thanks to Fast Freddy, one of six high-tech robots in the COVID units. If the patient can converse, I talk to them. I always introduce myself. I'm Dr. Reynolds. I'm one of your critical care doctors here. How are you doing today? And we talk in real time. There isn't that funny delay or anything. It's real time, just like we're doing right now. From his desktop, Dr. Reynolds can monitor vital signs, access patient records, and consult with colleagues. Well, would you mind uh, coming with me to the bedside? I'd love to see his chest and his belly. The robots protect healthcare workers and help prevent the spread of the virus. Okay, and are you still doing the nebulized lidocaine regularly? Yes, she got it at uh, 8 o'clock this morning. Regarding the COVID experience, this is still an eye-opener for me. We have some of the units that are completely negative pressure, and they call it the airlock. The robot will stay in there and never come out and can go from room to room because they have can keep the room doors open, robot has mobility. Dr. Reynolds, whose age puts him in the high risk group, can communicate directly with patients without risk of becoming infected himself. Okay, anything else on him? We make uh, team rounds. So outside the room and sometimes inside the room, there's the nurse, 
pharmacists, infectious disease, nutrition, physical therapy, social worker. We all make rounds together. It's no different than when I'm there physically versus virtually. The medical system has seen tens of thousands of patients using telehealth technology. You can stay up to date by visiting the coronavirus update page on the School of Medicine website. Until next week, I'm Larry Roberts for the University of Maryland School of Medicine.